So here's a bed mass question with fractions. And the question says 3 quarters plus 6 eighths minus 9 thirtieths times 4 tenths. Now according to bed mass, uh, we always begin with the multiplication. So in this case here, the multiplication says 9 thirtieths times 4 tenths. And we can cross-reduce. At least we can check to see if we can cross-reduce. 9 and 10, well, we cannot reduce those because there's no common factor in the 9 and in the 10. However, in the 4 and the 30, so this way, in the 4 and the 30, there is a common factor of 2, which means I can divide here by 2. I can divide here by 2. And this does reduce. And I'll rewrite this as uh, uh, 9 over and 30 divided by 2 is 15 times, and 4 divided by 2 is 2 over 10. And I'm just going to recopy the other, the other parts, 3 quarters plus 6 over 8, and then there's a negative here. I can redu reduce this further because the 2 over 10 reduces, and therefore I can divide the 2 on top by 2 and the 10 on the bottom by 2, and this becomes, uh, I'm going to recopy all the other parts first, oops, that should be 3 quarters plus 6 eighths minus 9 fifteenths times, now 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now, uh, now I can, I mean, just put aside all the other parts. I'm going to take all of this, take this, I'm going to shrink it, I'm going to put it aside. And now we're working on this statement over here, 3 quarters plus 6 eighths minus 9 fifteenths plus, uh, times 1 over 5. We're still doing the multiplication first. We're still doing this first because uh, of bed mass. And therefore, uh, 9 times 1 is 9. 15 times 5 is 75. So I write that down over here. That's 9 over 75. There's a negative sign in front over here, so I write negative in front. 6 over 8 plus 3 quarters. And so now the, the idea is to find uh, the uh, common denominator for all three of these. Uh, and uh, we can there then uh, add and subtract. I'm going to begin by solving these two over here, this addition. It doesn't matter what you do first. You can do the subtraction or you can do the addition first. But I'm going to go with uh, this addition. And the reason is because I can, uh, I can multiply the 4 by 2, I can multiply the 3 by 2 to get a common denominator of 8. And this becomes 6 over 8 plus 6 over 8 minus 9 over 75. And uh, 6 over 8 plus 6 over 8 is 12 over 8 minus 9 over 75. And so now we have this, this uh, subtraction to do. So let me just put away the the rest. So now we've done this. Let's take all this. Let's take it, let's shrink it, and let's move this aside. And now we're focusing on this over here. So the idea here is to get a common denominator, and we're looking for a common denominator between 8 and 75. Now I can go ahead and do uh, a table of, of, mul of multiples to find the lowest common multiple between 8 and 75 or to save time what I can do is I can just multiply I can multiply the 8 and the 75 together which automatically gives uh, a common denominator not necessarily the lowest common denominator but a common denominator so that's what I'm going to do in this case I'm going to take out the calculator and I'm going to do 8 times 75 8 times 75 gives 600. So I'm going to make the denominator 600. Let's write that down over here. Use it black. So 600 is our denominator minus another 600. And to get 600, what I had to do is multiply the 8 by 75. So I have to do that to the top. And to get 600 on this side over here, I have to multiply by 8 and on the top as well. 9 and 8 is 72 and 75 and 12 let's figure that one out 75 times 12 that's 900 
900. And so now I'm doing 900 minus 72. 900 minus 72, that's 8. Uh, I believe it's 2, and I believe it's 828 over 600. And now we can uh, reduce this. So let's, uh, let's shrink this over here. Shrink this. Shrink it like this. Move it aside. And let's focus on this now. And so 828 over 600 is a division. This is a division. So let's turn this into a mixed fraction. Let's do 828 divided by, long division, 600. So 600 will fit inside the 8 zero times, inside the 82 zero times, but inside 828 at least once. 1 times 600 is 600. Subtract uh, 8 to 2. So uh, what's left is, so this gives 1 and 228 over 600. Now 228 is even, 600 is even, so we can start reducing, and we can start reducing by at least 2. Let's take out the calculator and see what uh, 228, 228 divided by 2 is. That's 114. Let's see if I could divide by 2 again, divided by 2. That's 57. So if I divide the top by 2 twice, or once by 4, I get 57. Let's see if I can divide 600 by 4. 600 divided by 4. Yes, that's 150. So if I reduce by 4, I get 1 and 57 over, what was the number? The number was 150. 150. Now, uh, I don't think I can reduce this further, but if I could reduce it, I'd continue dividing the top and the bottom by common factors. And so the final answer to this bed mass problem is 1 and 57 150ths.